everyone welcome back to dr neuroglia today in this video let's discuss about hiv and aids the definition of aids aids is a disease syndrome caused by the retrovirus human immunodeficiency virus the hiv and characterized by profound immunosuppression that leads to opportunistic infections secondary neoplasms and neurologic manifestations the definition of hiv it is a condition where a person is infected by hiv here the infected person may not suffer from any symptoms associated with infection but in aids the person suffered from symptoms related to the infection there are two types of hiv there is hiv1 and hiv2 the disease caused by hiv aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome arc aids related complex Incubation period of HIV 6 months to 6 years or more the clinical types of HIV infection acute infection asymptomatic infection persistent generalized lymphadenopathy aids and arc the properties of HIV single stranded enveloped rna virus member of retrovirus family contains reverse transcriptase enzyme non oncogenic lentivirus cytolytic It has a bar-shaped core surrounded by envelope with several important surface antigens. Glycoprotein 120 initiate viral infections by binding to host CD4 cell. Glycoprotein 41 and glycoprotein 161. The viral genome has three major types: gag gene, which encodes the internal core protein; pole gene, which encodes several other proteins such as reverse transcriptase; and V gene, which encodes surface glycoprotein 121. glycoprotein 41 and enzyme antigen p53 the stages of hiv infection an early acute stage fever lethargy sore throat and generalized lymphadenopathy maculopapular rash on the trunk arms and legs leukopenia this stage resolves spontaneously in about 2 weeks a middle latent stage a long latent period measured in years usually ensues in untreated patients this stage lasts for 7 to 11 years The patient is usually asymptomatic during this period. A late immunodeficiency stage. The late stage is the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This stage is characterized by marked reduction in the CD4 cells and the occurrence of opportunistic infections. The target cells of HIV are helper T cells, macrophages and dendritic cells. The pathogenesis of HIV infection. The HIV enters into the blood stream through different routes. The HIV infects the CD4 T helper cell leading to decreased cellular and humoral immunity it also infects the monocyte macrophage producing giant cells it causes immune suppression and this predisposes to various opportunistic infections such as the aids the clinical features of HIV or aids the primary infections are fever maculopapular rash pharyngitis lymphadenopathy myalgia Bell's palsy, diarrhea, headache, meningoencephalitis. The asymptomatic infections are a prolonged period of clinical latency follows primary infection during which individuals are asymptomatic. Persistent generalized lymphadenopathy with nodes less than 2 cm is a common findings. The median time of development of AIDS is about 9 years. The minor associated disorder, unexplained moderate to severe weight loss. recurrent upper respiratory tract infection angular colitis herpes zoster recurrent oral ulcer unexplained persistent ulcer persistent oral candidiasis severe bacterial infection the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome features are candidiasis of esophagus trachea bronchi and lung invasive cervical carcinoma chronic cryptococcosis hiv encephalopathy hiv wasting syndrome recurrent sepsis kaposi sarcoma lymphoma myobacterial infection and pneumocystitis pneumonia investigations for hiv infected patients the laboratory confirmations are serology using commercial elisa screening test western blot and pcr the baseline investigations are cd4 viral load hepatitis b surface antigen hepatitis c antibody liver function test urinalysis and serum creatinine full blood count tuberculin skin test and cervical smear in women the prevention of hiv infection the sexual prevention are comprehensive sex education programs in schools 
Public Awareness Campaign for HIV, Easily Accessible Testing Center, Safe Sex Practice, Control STIs and Post-Sexual Exposure Prophylaxis. The parental preventions are ensuring safety measures during blood product transmission and avoidance of sharing needles. The drugs used in treatment of HIV, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors such as abacavir, lamivudine, tenofovir and zidovudine. The non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, protease inhibitors, integrase inhibitors and chemokine receptor inhibitors. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.